The Billy 50 Classic Messenger Bag is the Billy 50 take on the 1980s, 1990s retro messenger bag that was popular with school kids all around the world. Do you remember rushing out to buy one of these and then as soon as you got home you pulled out a texture and then graffitied all over it? Well, I do. I loved mine. But there was a couple of small problems with it. It didn't have any pockets. The new Billy 50 design features a back external pocket, two side pockets to slip your mobile phone in, and an internal zipper pocket. Now you could leave the bag as is, or you could gift it with the texture and let the recipient run wild and graffiti theirs and really make it their own. Or if you prefer, you could add an embroidered panel to the front or the back to personalize it. There are so many options with this bag. It also is a pretty simple sew. Only basic sewing skills are required. It looks difficult, but it's actually not. It's just panels all lined up. So stay tuned, watch the video, and I'll show you how to make this bag step by step. We've got the front, and you know that one's the front because it's got the little corners cut into triangles. They're the two straps that are going to be sewn on. Then we've got the front inside, so this will sit like that over the top. That's our little strap connectors at the bottom there. Um, now just a point, I haven't interfaced any of these because I do want a, that soft kind of look but I have interfaced the outer back pocket. If you wanted it more sturdy, you could, um, but I'm using a heavy cotton canvas, so it's not really necessary. These are the sides of the bag, so they will be pockets. That is going to be a connector on the side there, and that'll sit underneath there, and then it's going to have a small grommet detail on it. So that's one each side. Then we've got the inside of the back piece, which is going to have our internal zipper. So I've got the back, the lining, and then that's the back. And then I've got my external pocket that is going to sit there. So that'll be a pocket. Now I haven't put a magnetic closure on this one. Um, because I want to be able to quickly shove things in there if I'm on the run. Um, so it's up to you, you can, it's, a, it's an extra you can add, but that's quite easy to add at any time. And lastly, of course, the bottom. There are a lot of pieces, but they're not really complicated. So let's get started. So the first thing I've got here is um, our crossbody strap. Now, I, this is 40 inches long and I've cut two of them and I'm going to join them together to make one long strap. Now this one here fits in the 25 mil or one inch hardware. Now if I was going to do it for a guy though, I would probably go for the one and a half inch and I would make the strap a little wider. Uh, just so it's more comfortable for the guys to wear. Or if you were using this bag as a heavy book bag or something and you just wanted a little bit of a wider strap on your shoulder. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my strap. So I've taken my two pieces of strap and I've joined them, whoop, I've joined them together and then I've folded the edges in and then folded the whole thing in half. So you can see how that looks in the join. Now at the end, what I've done is I've actually folded in the bottom like that, folded in the edges and then folded in half. So what I'm going to do is using a um, 
top, a nice long top stitch. I'm going to sew there and all the way down around the other end and then all the way back again. Now we're going to be working on the sides of the bags. So each side has a pocket. So this is a side in the lining. So we'll get rid of that lining there. There's your side. And then this is going to be your pocket with the grommet in it. So what we need to do is for both sides, we're going to take our little pocket and we're going to place them right sides together. And we're just going to stitch across the top so we can fold that over like that and then do a top stitch. So we'll do that for both pieces. So using a half inch seam allowance, we're just gonna go straight across the top. I'm gonna to back stitch all the way across, back stitch. And then I'm gonna fold this, open it up and fold it in half. Now you can go and press this if you want a really, really nice straight edge and then top stitch across the top. Got that. So this time using a quarter inch allowance and a top stitch length. And that's done. And now I'm going to repeat the same process for the other side. Right. There we have it. And now that we've got both of those done, we're going to put our grommets in. And to do that, we are going to measure down one and a half inches from the top. And we're going to measure our centre, which should be about two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. And I'm going to make a little cross there. So you can see I've made a little cross with my chalk. So again, one and a half inches down. Two and a half inches across, which makes it center. And where our lines intersect, that's our center. So that's where we're going to put our grommet. Now what we're doing is these side strap attachments and to do that we're just going to take our strap again it's folded in half and I've folded the edges in and I've done the same thing to the top as we did on the other strap. So I've folded the top in, folded the sides in and now I'm going to stitch all the way up and around those edges. I'm going to do that on both straps and then we're going to attach our strap like that and then we're going to sew it onto there before we base stitch around here. So let's go ahead fold our strap together and sew around these edges. Now we're going to attach our little D ring, rectangle ring. And we're going to use our rivets. So they're nine millimeter by nine millimeter. And all we're going to do is we're going to thread that through there. I'm going to fold that over about an inch. I'm going to make a hole in there. Put 
put my rivet through get my cap and I'm going to give it a squash and I'll do this so that's my nice strap now and do the same thing for the other side I'm just going to make sure I'm folding them over the same amount. Again, make a hole. Put the rivet through. And give it a squash. So then my rivets are in. Now to put them on here, what I'm going to do is I'll fold this in half and just finger press it down the center. And then I'm going to measure down one, let me see. I'm going to measure down. So my rivet should be sitting right at the one inch measurement and from two inches so I want my d-ring to sit at the top like that and then from here two inches I'm going to stitch down and around and I'm going to do that for both pieces I'm going to stitch down and around. Now you won't be able to see this because we're going to then come along and put that on there. So you won't be able to see any of that stitching but try and make it neat. And now we have our side strap connectors on there and now we're just going to baste the front of our pocket on. So now all I'm going to do is base stitch along each of these edges here, just down there, just to hold them together. So using a nice long base stitch, you can clip them together if you want to. Just nice and close to the edge. I'm not going to be able to see this underneath the because this will be within the seam allowance. pockets all put together. The next thing we're going to prepare is our back and our back open pocket. So much like the sides what we're going to do is we're going to place our pocket with our lining right side down and I'm just going to stitch straight across the top and then I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to top stitch across the top as well. And I'm going to use a half inch seam allowance and then a quarter inch for my top stitch. I'm going to give mine an iron. Now with a top stitch and a quarter inch seam allowance, I'm going to start a top and just top stitch all the way across. Now that I've got that top stitch done, I'm just going to take my back piece and I'm going to lie that on there. I'm going to line that up and then I'm just going to base stitch just like I did the other side all the way around. Now if you wanted to, you could actually put a magnetic clip in here. 
Now we're working on the front flap and the front flap will have these straps come over like this. So to make the straps, first of all, I've folded in the ends like we did on the other straps. Can you see that? And I folded that in again. Now what I'm going to do is you can either put strap ends, metal strap ends on there, or if you don't have any of those, like I don't right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch a line straight across. And then I'm going to start at one end and stitch down and around and back. So I'm just making the end of a strap end kind of thing out of cotton myself. I'll do that for both. So first thing I'm doing is going straight across the bottom and back stitch and then all the way and I'm going to back stitch. There we go. Now, so now I've got my end done like that. Yeah, that's better. Got my end done. And now I'm just going to go up, down and across. Back stitch. So now my end looks like that. Now if I want to later, I can put a strap end on that. But otherwise I don't have to. So I'm just going to press that. Now we're going to attach the straps to the front flap. Now, there's a couple of things we want to check first of all. Very first thing we want to check is that our straps are the same length. If they're not, make sure they are. So our straps are the same length. Now, we're going to position them so there is a one inch overhang here at the top. So a one inch overhang at the top. And then we want there to be a two and a half inch space here. So we're going to measure in two and a half inches. Now you can do it differently. Um, you can make them a bit wider if you want. You just need to make sure that when you do your strut connectors at the bottom, you match them up. But I'm going to go with this because I've specifically done it that way to frame out this part. To frame out my little design on the front there. So we're just going to make sure it's all straight. Now you can use double sided tape if you want. So again, we've got the one inch and we're just going to make sure that this is two and a half inches that'll help you determine whether that's on straight or not put a clip now there's another little trick to this we're going to start at the top and we're going to sew down but then when we get an inch away from the bottom an inch let's see when we get an inch and a half away from the bottom so I'll take my chalk which will be about here I'm going to come down stitch across and go back so this part won't be attached so again so we've got one and a half inches one and a half inches so those there so I'm going to sew down, across and up and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch over those lines that we've already got there. So before you do so, just double check that you've got two and a half inches and make sure that it's sitting up an inch and that'll make sure, that'll help you. So you should have about eight inches hanging off the bottom. Now you can make them shorter if you want to. Um, I just find that the kids like them cool like that. So that's what I'm doing. So we go starting at the top on a nice long stitch length. We're just going to stitch straight over the lines that we had before. Now just go slow. Now 
remember down to your chalk mark coming back is a lot easier because you've got it already in place all right there's our chalk mark spin around straight across spin around and back up And when you get to the top, I'm just going to back stitch. Lovely. Okay, and now we're going to do this as well. All right. Looking good. So now our straps are on the front. Now we're making our little strap attaches for the bottom. Um, so all we need to do is run our stitches all the way down the side and then come back so we can connect these. Now the way we are going to connect these is we're going to push them up, down, and I'm going to do a little double fold. So I'm going to fold and then fold again. Now I'm going to put a rivet through there to hold it and then I'm going to measure it out and stitch it onto here. We want it to be half an inch from the bottom, two and a half inches from the side, two and a half inches from the side, and a half inch from the bottom. And then all we're going to do is just tack stitch that on the bottom there. Now, so we need to take our back and our front. So our back with our outer pocket. And then we need to take our front and we need to flip that over together. And we're going to match up the tops. And then all we're going to do is sew across. Using a quarter inch seam allowance. And then we're going to open that up, fold that over and top stitch it. Nice and easy. Now, I'm going to open that out and I'm going to leave my seam bulk towards the back and I'm going to top stitch twice. So I'm going to stitch right on that line, right before that line and then a quarter of an inch away from there. So top stitch, back stitch.
back stitch. Spin it around. So now we've got our panel at the top, we've got our back outside pocket on, now we're going to put the bottom on, so we're just going to do exactly the same for our bottom, we're just going to line them up, stitch across here, fold it over, do our top stitch. Back stitch. Open that out. Just fold this out of the way. Top stitch length. We're out of bobbin thread. Should have checked that, shouldn't I? And then the same again. So we're going to have everything all in one big line. But they will be folded over that way. I hope you're enjoying the Billy 50 tutorials. Please subscribe to this page and like this video. Click on the little bell if you'd like to be notified of any new release videos as soon as they're available. Yeah. So now you can see if we fold it all around, this is what we end up with. So there's essentially there's our back. That's our bottom. So it's looking pretty good. So now what we need to do is put our sides in. Now to do that, we're going to line up our. Which way are we going? Right sides together. That's that side. So we're going to put it like that and we're going to clip that on there and then we're going to go up the sides and we're going to do that for both sides. Now that I have my sides all clipped in I just need to stitch all the way down and around.
going to do the same on the other side. the shell of our bag is done. Now you'll see that the shell of our bag is complete. Our corners are all done nicely. There we go. So now you can see the shape of our bag taking place. And now we're going to move on to the lining. Now we're working on the lining and to prepare the lining, the first thing I'm going to do is insert my internal zipper pocket. So I've already marked out where my zipper is going to go. I'm just going to stitch around that now. You can see that I've sewn all the way around my rectangle. I've sewed down the middle and then I've cut the line, I've cut little Y's into the corner and I've folded this through and I have ironed it flat. So now it's time to put in my zipper tape. So the biggest thing I can tell you for, oh my zipper tape's not long enough. Um, the only thing I can tell you about this is remember to put on a zipper tab before you do this. So I've put my zipper pull on my zipper tape and now I'm just going to place it underneath. And then once I've got it in position, I'm just going to stitch all the way around to secure it. Now you can use um, double sided tape for this if you want. But there we have it. And that is now in there. Now I have my zipper in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and then the sides of the pocket I'm going to close up with a quarter inch seam. But I'm going to leave this bottom, this bottom seam open so we can use that later on to turn the bag through. Time to change my it's my top thread just ran out. So I'll have to go and change that. So how about that? It's new cone day. Okay, back to what we were doing. Now I am going to turn the corner and just do a couple of stitches which is going to help me later on when we're sewing this all back together. It'll help me fold my crease in. Now make sure you don't sew your panel. You're only wanting to sew your pocket. that is done. Now our panel's complete. You can give that a press if you like. Okay, so 
so now what we're going to do is exactly what we did here we're going to sew so that's our back we're going to sew our top piece on so we're going to lay that one on top there and we're going to stitch along the top and then what we are going to do is we're going to do our top stitching exactly the way we did it for the outside so it all matches so you're going to sew along here fold it open and then top stitch two seams and then with the top stitch I'm going to open that out push our seam down Now you don't have to do the top stitching but how cool does decorative top stitching look? It makes everything look professional. Got that on. So now we're going to put our bottom piece in, wherever that is. That's this piece. I'm going to match up our seams. And again, stitch across, top stitch and come back. Now we've got our bottom on, we're going to line up our, now we're going to make sure everything's going in the right direction too. So we want, in this case, I want my pattern facing up. So again, on the bottom, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Long there, and then our two top stitching lines. Now we've got all our pieces together, we just need to put our sides on. So now we've got all our pieces lined up. So we've got our flap, our back piece with our zip, our bottom, and then this piece that folds up. So there we have our lining. Now what we've got to do is put our sides in. So again if you've got directional fabric just make sure that you've got it going in the right direction. I'm going to clip that on. And then I'm going to clip up the sides. Now I'm going to clip the other edge in exactly the same way. Let's cut off those threads there. Should have been doing that as we go. Let's put that in the centre. I'm going to put three clips on there. Then I'm going to clip up the sides. And then this time I'm just going to stitch my, my seam shut and I'm not going to top stitch.
Now we've got our lining made. What we're going to do is we're going to turn our outer shell out the right way and then we're going to turn our lining in the other way and put them inside each other. And then we're just going to go around with our clips and we are going to clip all the edges together. So we're going to do that all the way around. Now's a good time to check also that you've got your internal zipper pocket open because we're going to need that later. you've got all of that clipped in together all you have to do is sew around all those edges Now I have this all sewed together, we're going to turn it in the right way, going through this pocket. And I am just going to trim those corners a little bit. the one on the other side reduce some of that bulk there we go I'm going to push the lining inside if you do see any threads, cut them off. Push that inside. Now I'm just going to go around with my hands and I'm going to press that all into shape and then I'm going to iron it all so all my edges are nice but you can see that we're starting to have a bag now. Once we've got all of that turned in and ironed we're going to go around the edge with a one quarter seam allowance and I'm just going to top stitch all the way around. Now I've done my top stitch all the way around, it looks really cool. So we're going to go into the pocket, we're going to pull that out. I'm just going to fold in those edges and then close that seam over. And I'm going to do that just by stitching nice and close to the edge. Now 
closed up that seam, I'm just going to push that back inside. I'm going to do my zipper. And you can see how awesome that all sits. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually stitch across here just to keep that nice and flat, but I'm not going to because I've already top stitched everything there. So, my straps go in like this. There's a bag. Now, it's got our open pocket on the back as well. So now what we're going to do is attach our strap on the side. And we're not doing this one as a removable. So we'll just get all of our bits and pieces together. So we're going to take one end of this strap. I'm going to thread it through here. And we are going to stitch that closed. Well, you can put a river or you can stitch it. So we're just going to put a river on here. And you can double fold that if you like a nicer, neater finish. I always double fold my straps. going to take our bag one goes over here and then we're going to do that double fold again just so it's all nice and neat And there we have it. It's done. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this page and hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time a new video is released.